how are you? I hope you're fine and staying at home. So, today is our class 23! Nice, isn't it? We're almost one month in this situation. So, yes, we're fine, right? I don't think I mind it. I'm liking this new kind of class. I hope you guys too. So, today we're gonna make a little more of the grammar. Okay, we're gonna work a little more with the grammar, but we don't have exercise. You're gonna see, uh, we're gonna read again the page. You're gonna watch a video. I'm gonna leave some, some time for you to write questions if you have any questions, okay? You're gonna have some time to write that, those questions and those questions you can send me through Clip Scholar and then I'll help you, okay? It can be questions about uh, more more verbs it can be questions about some phrases i don't mind i'm gonna answer each questions you have okay then you're gonna do the new part the new part is the writing okay i'll be right back i'll see you soon okay guys so this is our powerpoint presentation you know this already right uh, grade 5, of course, class 23, simple past regular verbs plus writing. I already told you that we're gonna have a little part of the simple past because I kind of need you to really understand it. I know that last class we practiced a lot, okay? You guys made a lot of exercise, I hope so. Very good, congratulations! <laughs> But now I'm going to talk about a little more, okay, because it's very important for us to understand how to express ourselves using the simple past of the regular verbs, okay? But before that, let's begin with the script, okay? The script is first reading student book pages 54 and 55 to revise, revise, okay? Uh, watch a video. I'm gonna have some time for questions. We're gonna read again the student book. You're gonna have an activity, the writing activity, okay? And this activity is your homework. You're gonna send me through Clip Scholar, but don't worry. Let's begin. I'm gonna get, give you guys some time, okay? You guys have some time to go. Take your student book if you haven't. Open on page 54 and 55. I know it's the same page from yesterday. But just do it. Okay, guys, now let's begin, okay? So, the reading, okay, page 54 and 50, I really want you to focus on the reading, pay attention to me, okay? Grammar, simple past, regular verbs, we already did this, but I just want you to kind of pay attention a little more, okay? This is very important, so we're gonna take a little while on this. Um, the present, we say, they work in the class. In the past, you take the verb work and you add the ed, so they worked in the class, right? Yes, that's easy, right? Now, here comes the rules. This part is kind of a messy because you really have to pay attention to the rules, okay? So, first rule, uh, we add the d to verbs ending in e. I'm gonna say it sometimes in Portuguese, okay? Em verbos terminados com e, a gente só acrescenta o d. So, add d to verbs ending in e. Move, move it. Easy, okay. Uh, para aqueles verbos que terminam em consoante, antes do y, a gente troca o y, coloca o i, E acrescenta o ED. So, for those verbs ending in a consonant and Y, we change the Y to I and add ED. So, try, try it. Okay? Sometimes when you listen, you have to pay attention because the, the letter Y, when you say it in a word, it's really close to the letter I. Right? So, try 
try it. It seems like it's the same letter, but it's different because we are using the simple past of the verb. Ok? Good. Moving on. Um, para aqueles verbos terminados com uma vogal e o Y, a gente acrescenta só o ED. A gente não tira o Y, ok? So, for those verbs ending in a vowel, then Y, we add ED. So, verbs like stay, stay it, you don't take off the Y. If it's a consonant, you take off the Y. But if it's a vowel, you don't take off the Y. Ok? Yeah! Good? Ok? Yeah! Para aqueles verbos que tem um stressed CVC. O que, que é um stressed CVC? Significa que essas três últimas palavrinhas, CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant, elas são ditas mais fortes, tá? Isso se chama stressed CVC. Então, essas palavrinhas, stressed CVC, uh, você vai dobrar, no caso, a última consonante e vai acrescentar o ED, ok? Então, for those, wor for those verbs, with a stressed CVC ending, we double the consonant and add ED. So, example, occur, occurrate, occur, occurrate. Understand? Occur? Do you see how I say the word occur? It's hard, I know, sometimes we don't understand, but it's okay. You see, occur, Occur it. Okay? Easy? Let's go. And uh, to make the past negative, you have to use an auxiliary verb, tá? So, this is where you have to pay attention because the affirmative, it's easy. You basically add ed to the end of the verb. But the negative, okay, the negative changes. You're gonna use, você vai usar um verbo auxiliar, que é o did not, junto didn't, ok? Você vai usar esse verbo no começo, antes do verbo, antes, esse verbo auxiliar, antes do verbo, ok? So, uh, they live it in the wild, it's affirmative past. To the negative past, transformando essa frase to the negative, ok? Você vai falar, fazer o they didn't live, o verbo, the verb live, you change, you take off the ed, from the simple past, in the affirmative, and you put the auxiliary verb didn't in the beginning. Okay? Good? Yeah. Easy? I hope so, guys. This is only the negative of the regular verbs. Simple past. Let's do this. To make questions, okay? Let's go. Make yes or no questions and double which questions with did in the beginning, okay? And the plain form of the verb. When you know when there is a subject. Se você tem certeza do sujeito daquela frase, you, you're for sure, you know the subject. If you know for sure, you're gonna use the did in the beginning and the plain form of the verb, okay? But, but, if you don't know, if you don't know the sub subject in a double H questions, double H questions are where, who, what, sometimes, okay? Uh, if you don't know the subject in a double H question right here, just use the past form of the verb, okay? So, yes or no questions, double H questions, you know the subject. Did they work on farms? Where did they find help? Okay, it's the same. Double H questions, you don't know the subject, you, you use the past form. So, who called them wild? Okay? Easy? I hope so, guys. Okay, let's do this. So, now, I'm gonna change it. This this here is a video. I'm gonna pass the video for you guys and I really, really hope that you like it, that you understand it, that it's going to be easy for you to understand, okay? It's not a very long video, it's very short, so I'll be right back. <music>
Past simple verb forms are created by adding E and D in the end of the verb. For example, want, wanted. He wanted to buy a new car. Call, called. She called him on the phone. Hello. For verbs ending in E, we add D in the end. For example, change, changed. He changed his clothes. For verbs ending in Y, first Y changes into I, and then we add E and D in the end. For example, try, tried. He tried really hard. Remember, when the verb ends in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, we double the last consonant and then we add ed in the end. For example, stop, stopped. The car stopped. If the last letter is X, we don't double the consonant. For example, fax, faxed. When the verb ends in a vowel plus Y, Y does not turn into I. We simply add ED in the end. For example, stay. Stayed. She stayed at home. Okay, guys, very good. Did you like it, the video? Did it explain maybe a little bit for those with questions? Se vocês gostaram do vídeo, ótimo, great, I am really happy. And if you still have some questions, don't worry, I'm gonna give you time for that right away. Now, these are the questions, okay? You're gonna have some time to review your student book, to review your workbook. If you want, you can also look at your notebook. Agora é o momento de vocês fazerem aqui, aquela coisa assim, ó. Vou olhar meu material, meu student book, workbook, as atividades que a gente já fez. Do I have a question? Eu ainda tenho alguma dúvida? Eu não entendi? Maybe, talvez eu precise de um momentinho mais específico em tal assunto. Esse é o momento de vocês escreverem essas dúvidas, ok? Write these questions, try to explain it very well, and send me through Clips Color, ok? I'm gonna give you some time to do it, don't worry, go through your material, take a look, this is very important, ok? Go do it, I'll be right back.
Okay, I think it's good now. You have already right to questions. Very, very good. Now, let's continue, okay? We are done with the grammar of the simple past for now. This is only for next class. Now, student book page 56 and 57. This is the last activity for our unit one. Guys, this is very important. Yes, it is. You might not be ex as excited as I am, but I'm really, really excited. So, this is the writing, okay? The writing skills are, you're going to have to describe something. And that something right now is a place you visit, okay? So, I'm going to read it and I'm going to explain it. And in the next slide, you're going to have... Uh, you're going to have an example of how to do the activity, the example I did myself, okay? Describe the place you visit. Writers often describe places they have visited. Their descriptions create exciting word pictures so other people can imagine these places. These descriptions answer the questions. How does the place look and smell? What do I think or how do I feel about the place? The writing prompt, okay? So, did you understand what you have to talk about now? What are the idea to writing? I hope so. You have to write, you have to describe a place that you have already visited, okay? The writing prompt. Write a paragraph that describes a place you have visited. Pay attention that it's a place you have already visited. Como a gente está falando do passado, the simple past, não é um lugar que você quer conhecer. You're gonna describe, você vai descrever, gonna, você vai descrever um lugar que você já visitou. Porque assim você consegue colocar detalhes sobre esse lugar. Como você se sentiu, se você gostou, como ele é, porque você já foi lá, you have already visited, ok? So, be sure to use past tense regular verbs correctly here. Oh, be sure to use past tense regular verbs correctly, ok? Really pay attention on this. So, the pre-write, ok? You have to always, you're always going to begin the writing section, ok? The writing part with a pre-write. The pre-write now is... Choose a place that you have visited and write about it, to write about. Think about the words you will use to describe the place. Write the name of the place in the center of a word web. Write five words or phrases that describe the place on, this, on the spokes, okay? Uh, I student name Linda listened, listed her ideas in this word web. O pre-write normalmente é essa atividade com um word web, porque num word web é um jeito de você identificar os principais assuntos, ok? So, uh, Linda listed about the beach. So, it's wet, smooth and half sand. Amazing day, cold ocean water and roaming waves. Sharp smell of salt water and beach sparkled in bright sunlight. Essas são as principais coisas que ela lembra em relação a esse dia, tá bom? Então, vocês vão fazer algo assim. Escolha um lugar, a place you have visited, or uh, it can be a city, it can be something specific as the beach, or a specific day on the beach, ok? Then you're gonna do the pre-write as same as this, as the word web. Now, after you do that, you're gonna do a draft. A draft is a rascunho. Use your word web to help you write a first draft. Keep in mind your purpose for writing is to describe. Use words to show how the place looked or smelled and what you thought or how you felt about the place. Ok? Você vai escrever sobre como você sentiu, o que você lembra, como estava o cheiro, como o lugar é. Tenta o máximo de detalhes que vocês conseguirem, ok? Revise. A revisão nada mais é do que você colocar esse draft, né, esse rascunho, com palavras mais, mais apropriadas, né? Uma ideia realmente de você agora criar frases completas e não só word web ou palavras mais espaçadas. Let's read. 
Read over your draft. Look for places where the sentences begin the same way or the writing is not interesting. Use the writing checklist to help you identify problems. Then revise your draft. A ideia aqui é que você vai usar esse checklist ali, ó, writing checklist aqui no cantinho, para para fazer o revise, para fazer essa revisão do seu texto, tá? Essa aqui é uma ideia de checklist. You don't really have to follow, but just try to do it, okay? Writing checklist ideas. Uh, I created an excited word picture of the place. If you did this, se você conseguiu, great, check. Se você não fez, se você acha que o seu texto não tá com isso, tenta mais um pouco. Try again, ok? I described how I felt and thought about the place. You did? Perfect. If not, try again. Conventions. I use regular past tense verbs correctly. Esse aqui é o principal, tá? You really have to try and use regular past tense verbs correctly, ok? You're gonna add it. And then you're gonna publish. You don't really have to publish, but the idea is you're gonna make, you're gonna make in a paper. You're gonna take a picture and gonna send me through Clips column, okay? And here, here is Linda's description. This is uh, just a text that you can read to try and help you how to do your own paper, okay? Let's read it. Last summer, my family visit a beautiful beach near our house. When we got closer to the ocean, I recognized the sharp smell of the salt water. As soon as we arrived, my sisters and I jumped from the car and raced along the shore. The beach sparkled in the bright sunlight. Then we rushed into the cold ocean water. Suddenly, the roaming waves carried us back to shore. To warm up, we buried our feet. We buried our feet under the wet, smooth sand. What an amazing day! Do you see? She described it a perfect day on the beach. I think it's a really good idea for you guys to try and something like that because it's good for you to practice. Okay? Very good. Don't worry. You can do this. I'm gonna show you a pre-write and draft that I did. So, this is just an example, okay? This is something that I did. This is me, teacher Natalia. So, the pre-write, I was talking about Gramado, Rio Grande do Sul. I have visited there so many times with my parents. So, what I remember from Gramado, Rio Grande do Sul. It has a lot of lights, it's cold, I think it's a beautiful place, and chocolate. I don't know why, but I always think about chocolate when I think about Gramado. Okay, this is my pre-write. Now I'm going to do a draft, okay? So I'm going to put more words to the things that I have already pre-write. So, beautiful place, a lot of lights, it was cold, it was in July. I put the date, okay? I put the month here because I think it's good to talk about, if I, I'm talking about the weather, I have to talk about when that happened, okay? I ate, you see? Ate here is the simple past of the verb eat. I ate a lot of chocolates, loved the place. Understand? Good, guys. Now, I'm gonna give you some time. Don't worry. You can do this. You start your pre-write. Do your draft, okay? Take it slow, we're gonna have time to do it. Very, very good. Okay, guys, now continue, okay? This is very close. Now, we have, the, we, have to do, we have to do the script, okay? This we are doing, we have already done. Reading, student book page 54 and 55. We have already watched the video. You guys have already, I hope so, wrote and we have already write your questions. Very good. I'm waiting for those questions. 
we, we already did the reading student book page 56 and 57 and now here comes the writing activity and we are pelo clip scholar now is the time that you're gonna take a time to do it the writing activity when you finish you're gonna send me through clip scholar okay understand yes very good guys i'll see you soon i'll be right back so guys did you like it i hope so this class is very good i hope you enjoyed i know you guys had a lot of time to work on your questions to work on your writing skills and don't forget you have to send me through clip scholar be good be safe stay at home wash your hands i'll see you soon bye bye